Hello guys, good morning. So we're gonna get back to work on doing the packaging. I'm gonna complete the coaster one and the die cut sticker packaging and send that off to the manufacturer. So I'm gonna get to work on that and I'll show you how they turn out like. So I'm gonna do some test prints, make sure the sizes are okay um, and go from there. So Mike just had the idea here, he has mentioned a few times before, to have things on kind of like a hanger like this and then you can buy a punch that goes uh, through here so you can slot it in holes and I think this will work really well for our pin banners because at the minute we just have a sticker that goes across but the problem is we can actually personalize these banners because we make them here and um, so you can have your name on and the sticker hides that so a lot of times if they're gifted it hides it but also at conventions and stuff um, we can hang these on hooks and have them showing so we did a little experiment where we just folded and cut an A4 sheet of paper and it fits perfectly and we just stapled stapled it together and then this could be the new pin banner packaging So I've done the coaster packaging, it matches the mouse mat packaging, I've also added lilac um, to the colours, the panel colours. I've ordered glue dots because I like the way it sits in the packaging like this, just one single glue dot that is removable and you'll be able to take it out of the packaging. Just for things like, you know, conventions and shops for wholesale, this is the coaster packaging so it's pretty much exactly the same as the mouse mat packaging but with a coaster in it fits perfectly and I want to I want all the bags to be these ones uh, rather than this soft one but it definitely looks really pretty I'm a little sad because I wanted to save paper with the vinyl stickers now but unfortunately the A7 is too um too small so it has to go in an A6 one like this and it kind of fits really nicely slotted into there because uh, I don't want loads of different types of materials I try and keep it as minimal and as simple as possible so that is all the packaging I'm going to send off for them and then now I just need to make the pin banner design that you might have seen on last week's vlog it all ties in very nicely it's very very minimalist the branding but it's very much catnip and it allows the product inside the packaging to really stand out and pop out so I'm really really happy with that as I mentioned on the last studio vlog you do have the option if you buy from our Etsy store to remove packaging if you want to save and you don't want like extra packaging you can just get them shipped but this is the pin display I've done it exactly the same as the other ones I haven't showed Mike yet and this was Mike's idea and on the back it says catnip.com and this one's the lilac one and again I will probably get four colours made the blue the lilac the green and the pink and then whatever our customer orders we'll do a corresponding thing but these will be in the orders because these come protected in cello any cellos anyway because the fabric um so yeah, I think that looks really nice all together. It just looks like really cohesive and the brand all ties together. Let me show Mike what it looks like. The only thing is actually uh, a Euro punch. So things that you get to, you know, hang up on the shelves. I feel like I may have to move this down a bit because when we do conventions, we'll need a Euro punch, but you can actually buy these sticky ones that you hang on here. So, or you can get a Euro punch and punch it in here and that like slots into the display do you know what i mean to hang it up with like a punch like a hole uh but you can just get the sticky tabs that stick on the top yeah mike look at this what do you think your idea has come to life oh yeah you like it 
Yeah, it's mint. And then yeah. on the back, it just it's very, very, very simple. Like it just says catnip.com. See, I, I didn't want to overcomplicate the design because I feel like it takes away from the actual product. You know, like if I overcomplicate the packaging, so everything's just really minimalist. Sort of, but I think the packaging can equally be like as you know like wow factor as the the products it, putting care and attention into the packaging is just as good as putting care and attention into the product so the one thing i know that we had on the stickers which might be handy on there is just letting people know that it's like hand hand, hand printed. printed yeah that's a good um, idea hand printed pin display you know like i'm the one that has to sit and spend like three three days of my life <laughs> So I probably will get, you can get like sticky tabs for the Euro um, holders, the card slot holders that you stick on the back. I probably will do that for these. Um, the only reason being is these are going to go in orders like this. And I feel like if I move the catnip and pin display down, it's going to look really off centre without the hole punching. And there's no point wasting time hole punching them because people aren't going to hang this in the plastic. I mean, some people might, who knows? Um, so it's going to throw this whole design off centre if I do that and allow for the hole punch. Whereas you can add the sticky tabs on. And when I sell them wholesale and when I do conventions, the wholesalers can get the option to add that sticky tab on and obviously we will do that and send it off to them like that but i think it looks super professional what do you think let me know in the comments so i'm actually gonna sit down and send them all off and then i'm gonna get to work on packaging for these pit boxes and also for our mugs because we've been using very old stickers and they look gross <laughs> Okay, so my idea for the mugs is we used to print them on these labels and they used to look like this. So we'd put them over the top and they used to basically look like that. Now, I don't think that looks good on the packaging. I feel like this is too skinny and it throws the zen of the overall packaging off. Like, I don't think it looks good. So I thought it would be better the other way. So we can turn it, so I was just playing around with the visualization of it. We can turn it around this way and then you've got more of that look like it kind of looks like tape but i still don't think that looks like perfect i would rather it be square i think and it take up more of the mug box uh, but i'm not actually sure so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to trial out uh, this size because we have a lot of these labels and it means we would save a lot of money uh, if not we would have to get custom labels made that are square and is that an unnecessary business expense i don't know but i want my packaging to all be Pieces. so I'm gonna experiment and do it this way because I actually think it looks nicer like the width is perfect but it's just the length like the length that isn't perfect and obviously the logo can't go to the side there so I was thinking a catnip logo here and then maybe catnip.com here that's what I mean like if it was thicker like more on here <coughs> let me show you what I mean I'm gonna get my sketchbook out to try and explain my reasoning and also to give myself an idea okay so here's an example of what i mean the larger sticker would take over the box a lot more and then we could maybe have like a little cute illustration on the side here so it'll say catnip mug just like my other packaging does then catnip.com just here and then a little cute mug or we could just have it blank but it'll be like a pop of color or we can stick with the thinner one where it just says catnip and mug so I think I'm going to design the two and then see if it really is worth um, getting this increased size and I might actually look on onlinelabels.com which is where I currently purchase these ones from and see if uh, they do any bigger sizes because then if we print them ourselves it might be more cost effective um, but if not these it's the difference in price between like 5p a sticker or like 50p a sticker because this is quite a large label before we get any further into the video i wanted to say a huge thank you to long-term partners and supporters of this channel skillshare for sponsoring this video for those of you who don't know what skillshare is it is an amazing online learning community filled to the brim with online classes for you to choose from anything from business art illustration i personally follow things to do with art illustration animation because i 
been kind of doing that on the side. Seeing as though I've been focused on changing up my brand image and changing up the packaging design, I'm really, really interested in this build your business and brand, translating your passion into a plan by Rebecca Minkoff. She goes through setting goals, defining your distinction, creating a unified brand, all the way to growing and scaling a business. So if you would like to try out a Skillshare class, they are offering the first thousand members to click the link in my description a one month free trial of Skillshare. So thank you so much again to Skillshare for continuing to support our channel. Now let's get back into the studio vlog. working on our Shopify store so we can get that up and ready. He actually likes doing it, the crazy bugger. I don't know anyone who enjoys doing the website. I, for one, haven't updated my website since 2017. Anyway, look what's back out. Bow, 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 bow. I need one of those sound bars, Mike. <laughs> um, that's back out in Catnip HQ. It's a cricket because I'm going to experiment with some sticker packaging for the mugs. So this is the idea that I had. Rather than the standard rectangle, I thought, why not do it like cute and scallop, like my sticker pack design? And then, because I worked out the prices and to get a big sticker sheet of custom stickers, this worked out a couple of pence more, but I thought that would look super cute. So I'm gonna turn on my Cricut and I'm gonna do a little test and see what it turns out like. And if it turns out nice, I'm gonna send off for them as well. Also, Look how scabby my nose is. Every time I get a cold, this is what happens. It's disgusting. I'm already running into problems with cricket because it's not letting me sign in. Yay, I did it, finally. more pink than this as well. I feel like it needs to be pinker but my print settings didn't work. Oh, can I have a smaller one? So I need another box. This one looks like. Nice. Let's see if I prefer the square. There's not that much difference in them, but that's that one, and that's that one. Ignore the colour because it looks pretty much white. It is going to be more pink. So this is the longer one. So I did like a longer one, and then I did a smaller one. I could also, I just thought I could do a flower shape. Like a giant flower, or do you not think? I feel like actually I wouldn't get four stickers on the sheets because I would need to make like, do you know like a flower and it say catnip mug? Or do you think that works better? No, I think that works better. Okay. There's not that much difference really, is there? No, no. The really. square doesn't take up as much surface I kinda area. like I kinda like the smaller version, but that one is obviously gonna I feel probably be a little, a little bit more 
Should we print another one out but to get an idea of the colour because I feel like it will help seeing the contrast of colour. Right, I've printed out some new ones and I've also got a different shape. We decided on the square ones but I've done a darker pink colour. Oh my god, the calibration is even worse now. Oh, I haven't put it on very straight but it's okay, it's just a test. Now it's got loads of ink on it. And then this is a big one. I decided, oh, it's a bit too big actually. Let me trim it. Right, I've just trimmed that down because it's not an accurate size, but I did a larger one to see what that looked like. Let's see if it threw the feng shui off. I've got ink all over these now. <coughs> so that's a larger one. Ta -da! That's a square one. I think the square one works the best because it like all flows. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Rather than the large one? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Nice! I'm gonna send off for them. So this is what it looks like in a little bit better light. There's a scalloped one. Please excuse the ink and how uncollaborated it is. So that's the scalloped one. Then I did a larger one, but I don't know. I don't think the larger one flows as nicely. And then obviously we have our new mugs. I don't think I've shown you these new mugs. And that'll be on the inside. Nice. So we currently package our planner stickers like this and we put a little logo label at the side here. But I was thinking it would be cute to have kind of like this label, a shaped label, maybe a, a flower or something. And this is a glassine bag, so I actually think we'll reuse these because we've got a whole pack here to use. So I think I'll get Mike to use all of these. And I might actually switch to paper, uh, but then it's not as waterproof, that's the only thing. Uh, just for packaging and stuff and shipping purposes. Um, but I don't know yet, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of these. This is just purely for the Etsy store and not for wholesale or anything like that. So I think we'll use glassine for a while, but then once the new labels come, I feel like getting a label to go kind of here, so I'm going to design them next. I've just sketched out some more ideas for the planner stickers, I'm going to do them in glassine bags for now and I think I like this one the best, the imperfect flower with just my logo and then maybe uh, planner stickers underneath so I'm going to give them a go, cut them on Cricut and then I can send everything off and I can tick it off my to-do list. Right, let's test this out. We've got different varieties printed and cutted, printed and cutted. We've got the smaller one, which is, oh, has it cut properly? I haven't used vinyl paper for this. Oh, there we go. Um, oh, that looks cute, actually. Yes, I love that. Oh, then there's a larger one. What do you think, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. That's a larger one. Then let's try these ones. I think I would do them in different colours as well, so that you had a choice on one sheet. And then we've got this one. I could do loads of different shapes, I suppose. Hmm. That one. This is what they look like. I personally think it looks the best in a glassine package. I think this size, maybe. I don't know, the big one. Yeah, I think this size works the best. Ta-da! It just says catnip planner stickers. I also did the scallop like the mug, but I think it froze off the zen. I don't think it looks so good. Then the next experiment is on a clear cello, and it works on a clear cello too. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for today. That has been a successful day of making new packaging. And tomorrow I'm going to come in and I'm going to send off for all the packaging that I've designed and everything should be super coherent and super super pretty ready to go and ready for our new website which Mike has been working on today so yeah